What's up everybody? I'm Corey. I'm Kelly. Uh, it's another beautiful day. I have had a lot of things on my mind. Um, first off, if you've watched a lot of our videos, I think we've made it very clear that we're not professionals in any way. We are not perfect in any way. I have so many flaws, so many weaknesses, and I am just a work in progress. I have so far to go. Um, I got a message from a really old friend of mine that was very interesting. It was from a friend that was from a friend who said, have you seen this Corey Powell dude on Facebook? thinking he's the king of clean, the king of sobriety. I have I have so far to go. I do not know anything. I, mean, mm. I have a lot of experience, but obviously this person saw a video or maybe cuz how many times have I said I really have a long ways to go. You know, um I am just, I am so happy with my life today and I want to share it with the world. I don't have an answer for anybody. I only have what's worked for me and what is working for me. Do I take Suboxone? Do I take Subutex? No, I don't. I do not take any of that stuff. Um, and my life is good. My life is good. Uh, I don't. I, I, I could allow stuff like that, like this type of criticism or whatever to really affect me and bring me to a place of resentment and, uh, whatever. I mean, I could, but that's not what this is about. This is about healing. This is about bringing peace into my life. And with that, with growth and progress, there's always going to be the adversary. There's always going to be the opposite. Something trying to bring me back to old behaviors. Something trying to bring triggers into my life to bring me back to to just react how I've always reacted. You know, it's from a guy I don't even know. Like, I know his name. I know his... I don't know his face. I... I haven't seen him in probably 30 years, but, um, like I, I have no, I have no clue where it came from, but, uh, life is good today. Being clean, being sober, it's, it's good. And no matter how long I do this, there will always be naysayers. There will always be people that don't believe it. Even people close to me in my life, people that I saw last week, you know, I could be having a bad day and somebody will immediately think that I'm using or whatever. I mean, I'm going to have that stigma in my life probably for the rest of my life. And I'm okay with that. I understand it. I get it. You know, I don't, I don't have, I don't have the desire to convince anybody of anything. I have a desire to help another addict that I can reach and, you know, help somebody that suffers with mental illness that I can reach. And that's, that's all I want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As we do this, you know, as, as it spreads, I mean, cause, cause we're committed and, yeah. and anything that someone becomes committed to and we're consistent with, I mean, just with the way social media is, I mean, it's going to, people will come out of the woodworks and <laughs> and be ugly. I mean, that's just kind of part of the world that we live in and it's, you know, it's people's judgment and and I judge myself so harshly and it's just like mm. no one can judge me harder than I judge myself. <laughs> no I mean, way. I mean, it might be kind of weird to start getting people that say ugly things and and of course we're human and so that it, it causes a little prick, but it's <laughs> such great opportunities for to me you. to to continue to grow and to uh, progress and to just recognize that people it's just I don't need people's approval opinions judgments like I just mm -hmm. don't need anything if I'm doing what God 
wants me to do. Yeah. And and that doesn't mean I'm perfect. It doesn't mean I'm like doing all these things that I'm even sharing on here perfectly, you know. Every day is so different and I'm just I'm striving. I'm yeah. striving to bring peace into my my life. I'm striving to have joy in my life. Um, this past week I've just been so sick and just physically sick and you know it's so wonderful whenever we're balanced in a way that like our bodies physically feeling well and mentally we're well and emotionally and spiritually like when all those are balanced it's like oh that's like a week ago I was like I'm so blissful you know I was like I have so much bliss you know and I was like can I live this way well no 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 because this whole past week I've just been so not feeling well yeah. and and it that affects what I do and I tend to get a little bit more I wouldn't use the word lazy um even though I just said it but uh -huh. you know not as active because my body feels tired you know I, I'm trying to be more aware of what my <coughs> my body needs and listening to it and so but it does affect us mentally you know whenever we're physically not feeling well so things kind of tend to get a little bit out of balance I don't know what my point was with any of that no you're good <laughs> I don't know where I was going with it for sure um, um, something I was thinking is in a lot of people's eyes that don't know me, that I will never know, most likely again in this lifetime, I will always be that 15-year-old juvenile delinquent, that kid that would steal, that would do whatever, whatever. I mean, that, that kid who I was, you know? Um, and that's who I will always be to a lot of people, a lot of people that will never know me for who I am today. Um, people that I knew, you know, this particular person, I might have known them in the last few years and I have no clue that I even knew them because I was so far out on benzodiazepines that I don't even remember. He might, I have no clue. Um, but the bottom line is the only people that are ever really going to know me are the people that are in my life today. Today, right now. Not last week, not last month, not last year. You know? I said April 25th was the end of me really going down the road of killing myself. Um, was that the end of me using Suboxone and Subutex and Sublocade and really working my way towards recovery? No. So maybe he saw a video where he could tell that, you know, I was, yeah, over the last year I have been on a process of recovery. And maybe this person didn't hear a video, because I mean, we've done like 40 videos or something, and I doubt anybody's watched them all. So maybe on one of the videos I was talking about sobriety and being clean and how wonderful it is. It is. Mm -hmm. This life is so just, I, this is what I always wanted. But over the last 13, going on 14 months, it has been a process. And there have been things I've done to get to where I'm at today. And... You know, maybe he saw a video where I was going through a process of maintaining, um, of getting to where I'm at today. You know, so I have no judgments of anybody. There's going to be feedback and there's going to be people say things and that's okay. I know, I know who I am and that is all that matters. I'm being true to myself. And, you know, this is, like we've said, this is such a healing, healing process. Um, being, being sober and being mentally healthy is just a whole new world. And I just want to share it with everybody. And anybody that wants to hold me back and criticize me and say he thinks he's the king of clean or the king of sobriety or whatever. I don't remember what the quote was. But um, that's just, it doesn't matter. 
You know, that, that stuff does not matter. The only thing that matters to me is, can I reach anybody out there that's suffering? Can I keep from going back to that hell that I lived in for 30 years of my life? That's all I want. And this is working. Mm -hmm. Doing what we're doing is working. Mm -hmm. I think about that too a little bit about people who may see me who, who I've had relationships throughout my life with, you know, cause each, I have a relationship differently kind of with, with different people, different people see different things about me, mm -hmm. you know, see me in different ways and, and who I am today and also kind of how I am on these videos. I mean, it's just weird. It, it's, it's, it is, I'm not used to it yet still, but I'm just I am all of me I'm all of everything that anybody knows about me plus so much more and I'm coming to learn about myself I'm coming to I'm coming into myself and so I feel like nobody today who knows anything about me from the past truly knows me today and like you said, I mean, if you want to know me, then you would have to be in my life today, today. to truly know me. Yeah. And that's not to say that who I was in the past was fake or like whatever. I mean, I've who just always are. been who I am, but yeah. but I've never been who I am today. Because yeah. I've never seen life the way that I see today. Um, I was, I, I tend to... I recognize whenever I take a bath is like my meditation time because <laughs> you know I don't have any music on like it's just me in the bath with my brain and so I do tend to use that time kind of for meditation just breathing and just allowing my mind to I, I try to not let my mind go into the past or the future and so I try to just allow um, just that revelation time like just ideas, thoughts, possibilities, and, and all that kind of stuff. And last night, I was thinking about grace. We were shared a video with one another about grace, and we also shared it on Facebook. But I was thinking about the way it, it comes into our lives through gratitude. Like, it really hit me. Because I was thinking, like, what is, what is it, anachronism? What is it whenever you, like, G... R A C E, you know, and you use words. I was like, I was doing that in my head. And for G, like gratitude came into my mind. And, and as I really thought about that, I was like, grace is such an incredible thing. Like it's always around us. It's always ready to fill us. It's, it, it's there, whether we are wanting to receive it or not, it's just, it's ready. And it's so interesting whenever we open our minds whenever we become grateful it's like gratitude is what allows it to flow into us because if you're not grateful you're thinking negatively it's like your whole mind is not even open in a way to even receive grace into your life yeah, you're sure. blocked off from it and so it's like I don't know it just hit me really strongly last night that gratitude opens us up to just being filled with so much grace and when we're filled with grace that's when we have joy that's when we feel happiness that's when we just life just becomes so beautiful and and I'm just learning how to receive grace and allow it to just transform my life um yeah, it's it's it, miraculous. It really is. Yeah, the way that it works, there is no real way to explain it. And you can't. What I've been thinking about grace is, I really believe that grace is so many different things to so many different people. Like the way that they feel it in their life. Um, to me, the way that I g gained a testimony of grace is just absolutely, like, it makes no sense the reason why I came to really understand grace the way I did. But when I did, it was just a beautiful experience. 
and to feel that in my life today the past just doesn't matter Mm -hmm. I mean I could get so hung up on I'm never recording again I'm never doing this again what are people going to think about me I've just messed up too much my past is too bad I've done too many messed up things nobody's ever going to take me for real well you know um, that episode in the chosen you can read it in the bible Jesus Christ was denied by his own people I'm not comparing myself to Jesus Christ. <laughs> don't don't take it the wrong way. But, I mean, it's just the way it is. People that really think they know me, they know a me, a, a version of me that's not even in existence. It, that, I don't need, that person doesn't even exist. Who I am right now and who I've become over the last 12, 13 months is a completely different person. Do I, have I arrived? No, I have so far to go. I'm a liar, I'm whatever. I mean, I, I've struggled with my struggles, my weaknesses for most of my life. And it's not gonna go away overnight. This is why I'm gonna continue doing this and continue going to meetings continue working on myself and continue working on being in recovery because if I don't I know I will go back that guy is right I'm a junkie and that is where I will go if I don't take the daily necessary steps to stay clean and to stay in recovery I will go back to being a junkie and today no today I'm not a junkie Today I am whole. Today I have, I have the, I, I feel grace in my life. Today I feel my Savior's love. Today I feel complete. And today my life is good. Even with the judgments that could come my way, even with what people might think, it's just, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is getting it out, getting honest with yourself. I'm talking to myself. I'm not preaching. I'm not the king of sobriety, whatever. I'm I'm not that person. What has worked for me is sharing my experience with others on here and also in my groups with people that I've grown really close to. And uh, just one day at a time doing this. Does it mean I'm healed? Mm-mm. You know? Mm-hmm. Is, is it a miraculous overnight healing? Uh, the miracle has happened in my life. I had this conversation with my brother recently. It's not going to happen overnight. This is something that I'm going to work with my entire life. I am going to have to be conscious and work on being honest and transparent and being being truthful with the people in my life every day for the rest of my life. And I'm going to have to be aware of it. It's not just going to change. I have to work at this. And today I'm working at it. Mm-hmm. Every day it does. It takes... I wake up. And I'm like, okay, what can I do for my body? You know, I mean, I'm constantly asking myself these things so that I can stay at a number 10. I've talked about that before, you know, just all the things that are are best that, and it's daily, it really is. I mean, if I spend too many days in bed Netflixing, (laughs) it just, it, it makes my brain just feel like mush and it just makes me feel cruddy. And then I'm like, oh, I've lost all that time that I've been doing so well, you know, and that's where I have to allow grace to to fill me and that it's not about perfection it's about consistency and it's about moving forward and 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 I recognize well that doesn't make me feel good so I don't want to repeat that I don't want to allow that pattern to continue every time I don't feel well because it just it compounds it and mm-hmm. so it's it's learning these things constantly yeah and constantly progressing. Yeah. I'm like, how can I help my spirit to, to feel good today? What can I bring goodness 
you know it's it's just all of those things and it's it's daily it mm. really is daily and you know, some days are really great and I'm, I've got number 10s all day and some days it's just not so good yeah. but that's okay that's what this life is and and it's being gentle with ourselves and being gentle with other people. You know, that guy making those comments. I mean, it. whenever I hear people say ugly things or just say rude or just, just stuff like that, it truly, it makes me sad mm -hmm. for other people that, mm -hmm. that they feel that way within them, you know, mm -hmm. because I just, I don't think about other people that way. Like I, I don't, those aren't the Nobody. thoughts that come to me automatically. Like I just, I really love, I love people and, and I, I give people the, best the for them. absolutely. And I give people benefit of the doubt and I just, and I, and if someone is ugly, like I recognize that that's pain within them. And it's mm. like, what can I do to help that person to not feel so bad, you know, but, um, it's, we're all just learning. We're all growing. We're all doing the best that we can. And whenever we recognize it, maybe that guy will listen and he'll be like, yeah. Oh, you know, you know, it's, if you are, you know who you are, and if you are, if there's something I did, because I was on benzos for a long time, and there's a lot of blackout memories. If there's something I did or said, shoot me a direct message, you know, let me know, because I'd like to know. Um, but, you know, you, you said something that uh, one of my oldest friends, Josh, mentioned the other day we went out to eat. He said that we lost so much time, and I love that that conversation that Matthew has in The Chosen um, about how he did not lose any time. He just took a different route. We're all headed to the same place. We just take different paths. I did a lot of crappy stuff. I made a lot of mistakes, but I don't have to stay there. I don't have to live there. And I don't have to live with that stigma in my life. Other people might continue to live in that place. And I feel bad for them. Because they're stuck in the past. And they're probably still hurting themselves in some way. I mean, maybe not with drugs or whatever. Maybe whatever. I mean, there's so many ways that people hurt themselves. But... Today, I don't have to live in the past. Today, I'm grateful to be in the present. And I know that I have a beautiful future ahead of me. I don't know what God has in store for me. My life is so crazy right now. There's so much stuff going on in my life that, that I haven't even shared. Uh, but, you know, um, it's all good because I know that God loves me. And I know that He forgives me. I know that my Savior has taken care of that for me. And that no matter how much other people want to judge me for my past, that it's, it's non-existent. It just doesn't exist anymore. As long as I don't return to those behaviors, as long as I don't go back there, I don't have to think about it anymore. The only, the only thing I want to do is help the next one. The, that's the beautiful thing about the atonement of Jesus Christ is that anybody can change. Anybody. Anybody can change. It doesn't matter who you are, what you've done, where you've been. Like the atonement of Jesus Christ and grace and mercy and forgiveness, it just it wipes <laughs> it all away. It's like a completely clean slate. And I think that there's just people who don't understand Jesus Christ and and what he's done for us and that you can truly your entire heart your mind your soul your being is just it it's different I mean you just become different and it's possible like yeah. anybody can change who Rocky wants said to it change. perfectly if I can change you can change <laughs> we all can change <laughs> <laughs> oh, exactly. Rocky, I mean, for real, <laughs> for real, we all can change. And if you want to live in the past, if you want to stay right. in the past, That's up. I'm sorry, but this is this is all that exists right, right now. Yeah. Right now is all that exists. And you said it. something about my eyes. Yeah, I see it. 
I see it in our videos. I've already said I'm not perfect. I'm not the king of clean. I'm, I'm just not that. But I am off of the crap that was killing me. And I'm off of everything. I'm, I don't I don't abuse it. I, I'm, I'm good. Like, my life is so good today. I'm so at peace with myself. Um, and, yeah, it's... It is. It's just... Change is possible for anybody. And I said before on one of my solo things that I did, I was a hopeless addict. I was that one that you read about that dies. I don't make it, but I am. The change has happened. It's not, it's not like I'm still waiting for this change to happen. The change has happened. I still have a long way to go. And I'll say that for years. Because, I'll say that till I die. Well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> because we're never going to reach perfection no. in this life. Yeah, no. We all have a, full, a long way to go. Do not let the naysayers hold you back. The people that want to keep you in your past, the people that want to tell you that you are not good, that you're not good enough, that you'll never get past who you were because that's who you were for so long, it's just not true. That is a lie. And that is the adversary wanting to keep us down. And we're better than that. We're all better than that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your feedback. I'm dead serious because it has given me a lot of time to, to look within and meditate today in the perfect place that I personally can meditate. And I thought a lot about it. And it's so true. It's so true. I have done a lot of things that were just crappy, but that's anybody can change. And the, the, like Kelly said, the feelings that I had is, is a feeling of sorrow that people out there still see me as that person. Because today I want to be an example. I want to be I want to be an example of, of what our Savior can do for our lives, of what Jesus Christ can do for anybody. That's who I want to be consistently. And, and thank you, sincerely thank you for, for your uh, message that you sent to a friend that I haven't seen in a while, and I haven't seen you in 30 years, unless, like I said, unless... I have seen you, and I just didn't know it. But um, <laughs> life is so beautiful, and I'm so grateful, so grateful for the feedback and that people actually watch this stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I <right>. mean, <laughs> I love y'all. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm good. <laughs> life is beautiful. Life is great. Y'all just keep on going. Yeah. Thank you. Talk Bye. Talk to you later.